Hey everybody, I'm Eugenio Tacchini, founder of Databic. I'm here to introduce you the new Databic 10 Manarola. This is a very important release. Not only is version 10, but Databic also turns 18. Yes, the first release was in 2001, and since then, 79 versions have been released. Since it is such an important anniversary, so much energy has been spent working on this version, which is probably the one having more improvements in the whole history of Databic. The basic idea is still the same. Databic is a no-code, low-code development platform, which means you can build a web application without any coding. If you know some PHP or JavaScript, even better, you can add your own custom code and build more sophisticated applications. So, Databic can be used by uh, non-programmers to build the simple applications without any coding, or as a powerful development platform by programmers who need to speed up the development of applications with complex workflows, saving time, money, and avoiding repetitive and boring coding tasks. So, let's introduce the general features first, and then I'll present you the most important improvements introduced with version 10. So you start from a database or from an Excel file and you can build a responsive application without any coding. Something like this one, an help desk application, having results grid, search, insert and edit responsive forms, classic master details form, you can create dashboards, as you can see. Users can generate charts. Here I'm creating a bar chart and I aggregate data by the status of the help request. Users can generate PDF document too, using an HTML custom template or the default template. They can export the data in CSV format and you have a front-end in 22 languages and a sophisticated and granular permission model. For each page and users group, you have a table-level permissions and field-level permissions. Okay, that was a simple application, but you can also build very sophisticated applications and you can implement complex workflows with your own custom code. Let's see a sales management application here. To give you an example here, when a quote is converted into an order, for these products, the quantity sold is subtracted from the warehouse stock, which is the value you see in the products page. I would end by saying that you have 15 different field types to use in your forms, including lookup fields with Ajax loading, select multiple fields, Calculated fields, here price plus tax is calculated. Custom buttons, you can add custom buttons in many places, including forms. You have many other features, including hooks and custom pages. And don't forget, you can embed an entire Databic application within a WordPress page. Okay, let's see the most important improvements introduced with version 10. The list is very long. So, if you want to check the complete change log, you have a link in the description of this video. Until now, to build a Databic application, you had to start with a database or an Excel file and build the application around it. It is not the case anymore. Well, you can still do it if you want, but you can also create a complete application from scratch within Databic, without using other tools such as phpMyAdmin. In fact, you can create your data structures, tables and views, from here, and you can add and modify fields. So let's take the table Brands, Name and Website. I want to add a field Twitter. When you alter your data structures from here, everything is automatically synced in your Databic app.
Until now, the typical workflow for building a dynamic app was two browser tabs, one displaying the form configurator, the other displaying the final application. Change something here. Reload here to see the effect. Maybe also log out and log in with a different user to see how that user sees the form according to his or her permissions. Forget about it. For most of the form configurator parameters, while you are working on the form configurator, you can see in the same page a live preview of the form. All the forms. And you can also view the form as another user, without logging in. This will be a real time saver. For example, here I set for sales directors this Twitter field as disabled in edit, so they cannot edit it, while admin users can do it. If you work with data, you know that sometimes it's very important to have a version history of your data and to be able to see, through a convenient interface, who and when changed it. This new feature allows to track the history of changes related to records. Let's enable it for this customer's table, for example. Starting from now, after any insert, update or delete operation, the current version of the record involved is registered, together with daytime information and the user who executed the operation. So let's try it. I delete this customer, then I add a new customer starting from an old one, and finally I change the address of this new customer. Three operations. Show revisions, here we go. I see the operations for each operation, daytime, user, and the record itself. Of course, only admin users can see this. And if you go in the edit form of a record, I can see the history of that specific record. We have now an HTTP API. You can authenticate through an API call, select records according to search, sort and pagination criteria and get back the result set in JSON. This can be very useful if you want to integrate Databic with other external applications. For example, with this API call, I'm getting the products having a quantity equal to 10. And here is the result in JSON. It is now possible to create summary pivot table reports. The process is similar to the creation of a chart report. You select a field to aggregate data on and one or more aggregate functions. For example, for a products table, we could create a pivot table containing, for each brand, the number of items we have in our catalog and the maximum price. Here we go. This is our table. For example, for the brand Tivoli, we have two items and the most expensive one costs about $146. Pivot tables, as chart reports and results grid, can be embedded in a custom page to create dashboards. Here we go, this is our dashboard. Every time you call this page, this report is automatically refreshed and of course you can add other items as well. You can now show hide fields in a form according to a custom function. For example, here the field state only appears if I choose USA as country. Very easy to explain, very useful feature. Let's say you need to delete a few records. You can select them and as you can see you have a counter here, then delete selected. The good news is that you can use multiple record selection also for your custom buttons. 
In your custom code, you have access to the list of records currently selected. A very fast overview about other new features. You can now define several versions of the same label, one for each language. You can put your application in maintenance mode so only admin can access it. You can now define a default value for a field according to a custom function. You don't have to type custom function names manually anymore, you just start uh, typing data and you will see all the functions that you have defined, way easier than before. The PDF generation has been improved. The main improvement is the possibility to produce in PDF table or data starting from a record set. Ok, that's it. I hope you will enjoy Databic 10 Manarola. Visit databic.com slash demo to try our new online demo and to buy your license. Bye.